2015 i record a video about universal audio um i not so long ago i got a new one which is the um latest one but the one that, that i had before and also changed my computer um to an imac the first time i had this issue was when i had my old imac and i installed it and for some reason universal wasn't um, being recognized i was getting the error that um let me just see if i open it so basically this here would not show it would normally say can't find the device so i had the same error um i had to find a way to get around it so i've tried installing every um try installing it in various different ways so one of the ways that i um one of the things that i tried so let me just show you what i'm using so i'm using this is for the big sir so big sir 24 inch this is a late 2015 blah 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 and all this stuff um so so i'm using the big sir and i'm having issue um seeing this to um this um to work so this doesn't work all right so what i did was we're going to come to this in a minute so I reinstall everything, you know, so you basically go to the applications, you go to your universal audio, you reinstall this, you know, and this is, this may be, you might have this issue, say if you just got a new computer and you're backing and you transferring everything from the time machine to the new device, or maybe you just got a new computer and there's nothing on it and you have a universal uh, audio um, sound card and you want to install something on it. Uh, on the new computer you install everything and then you have that um, this error whereby you can't work so you reinstall this get rid of this one um, you basically press on this but this one here you reinstall everything for you then after that on my old video that I did which I'm going to post under this one you can find um, you, you will see how I actually access um, the universal audio that's been hidden in your one of your secret folders so normally i will go to my um, my main drive and go to my and system let's go it's one of this one here i think extensions so you go to your extension so you can just see me do it here and if you look under your extension you see um this you know so when you uh, reinstall everything on with um So when you reinstall everything from here, you go and check in here, see if everything is on here. If if this one that disappears here, that means it's good. Okay, just restart your computer. So if it's not, come here and delete this. Once that is done, the next step what you would do is you basically go to okay systems. So you're on your system, you basically go to security. Um, because of the way Apple is very anal when it comes to um, security itself on the devices, so you will have the same problem with um, your Mac. So you go here. Um, normally you won't see these two. You won't see this one here. This is where this comes to play. So you basically check on your normal details it tells you which device which uh, softwares or devices are giving ex gaining access to your security whatever so if you say you want this one you select that one you select that one you select that one whatever you want and then you press ok and then you restart it would restart your software you know so sometimes universal audio would be between this list and then you would have to give it prompt it uh, give it permission here that's when you only have this two showing now to get this one here showing you need to do this you need to basically go open your terminal okay you open your terminal you select this you put it in between here when you put it there you press enter you put your password and you restart your system again when you restart it, um, my suggestion is wait five minutes 
you know, if you're on Patreon, you just put it on, it doesn't matter. Um, you come back on, then you make sure that you have the latest universal software. So what you do is you normally go to your universal, um, to your universal website, you know, and you download it. I've already downloaded one here. So you download it and then you install it. It's about 2.9 gigabytes. Install it and then you restart your system again and then this should show up like this. It took me a while to get around it, but yeah. So this should show up like this. So your terminal is where you put this. You can always disable it if you want, but put this. This is for every app that you want to install, everything that you want to do works. I got this idea from a lady on, not this lady on YouTube. She basically used it for some applications that she has on, uh, on her, on a computer. They won't, um, they didn't work as, as she wanted. So she, in, so she, she did this and it works. Um, so I just use this to basically see if it works on mine. So I use this and basically it works. So as soon as this thing showed up. And I did everything backwards. It worked. So first thing, what you would have to do is before you install, I would suggest you go to your terminal and then you put this, give the access to everything already. And then you basically go through the process. Like I just said, it doesn't matter how you do it or which way you do it. It's still going to work. As long as you open this, it will work. All right. So that's so yeah that's it um if you need any help whatsoever drop me a comment i'll see if i can help but it should that should just work i had the same issues when i had it before this that was because i installed it um apple had a new software release and then i updated it and i had that issue but then i fixed it now the same issue would happen again and again so with big sir i'm having that issue too so but anyway it's solved now i'm happy it's working and uh, i hope it works for you if it doesn't work keep trying you know that's what i did it should work uh how do i start this thing recording yeah so it should work so anyway 